So I'm working on a small bug in Repo Prompt where switching presets has a UI lag associated with it that, you know, is just not pleasant. I've worked through what I think is the cause, I've tried different things, um, but I think now I've finally narrowed why it's happening. And I've typed that up in my instructions to help the model kind of get to work. So instead of just typing the, that prompt into Codex, what I've done is I've typed it into Repo Prompt. I've selected the relevant files. And when I hit copy, it'll come with the files, uh, a file tree of the of the code base so it understands you know what other files are in there um, and some code maps to understand the related files that are invoked in these two files um, and what I what the reason for that is is that basically you're giving the model a shortcut to navigating your code base um, it doesn't have to search around and call tools right away it can just get this information in its initial prompt and when it starts reasoning it's able to reason about these issues right away um, so it's able to see, it was able to understand, you know, basically these are the related files. I want to see the view models attached to it. It's able to analyze the issue um, with a shortcut, like a jump through straight to a much better understanding of the problem uh, without having to spend three to five minutes searching and reading files. So this is a really nice shortcut. I find it helps a lot, especially if you're able to be a little bit uh, conservative with your tokens. Like you don't want to include like your whole code base doing this because then you'll overwhelm the model's co context window. But if you're able to stay like between 30, maybe 50K tokens at a tops in your initial prompt, um, you can really shortcut the work that Codex is doing. Um, and I find you'll, you'll, you'll probably get better results because the model is able to reason about your code base right from the start uh, with a much better understanding than if it was reasoning from just insufficient information. So I encourage you to give that a try. Now, if you're using clot code, I don't recommend you doing this. Um, Repo prompt comes with some MCP related um, prompts that will do some compression. Um, and if you've got the MCP server connected, you know, that's very helpful. Um, but Codex is a different beast and it's able to reason about a lot more information right away. And it's able to also consider the context you give it up front as its own, whereas Claude will have to reread files that you give it at the start. Unfortunately, that's just a limitation of how the model is trained. So hopefully that little um, spiel is helpful to you. You understand a little bit about like this initial context. Um, that whole process is called agent orientation. Um, and if you haven't used an agent before or you're looking into it, I really uh, encourage you to learn a little bit about how agents work. So they don't really know anything at the start. You know, they only know what you tell them um, and they have to call tools to figure out, you know, the lay of the land. Um, if you're able to help them out initially, you know, you're able to give them like a first orientation, you know, like a, an employee handbook about your code base. Um, and it really helps them get to work and be more productive faster. You know, every chat is new. The agents have amnesia. Um, you can try and document a bunch of stuff, but if you spend too much time on general documentation, you might distract the model. So give this a try. Let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully it helps you get better results faster. Thank you.